All right, welcome to Smokey Reacts. I'm your boy, journalist, and on this one, we have single guy picks a date based on their outfit. Date my fit. Dude's name is Javian, I believe. Oh man, he better be glad. Hey, R.I.P. Storming and the Storming will flame this nigga. <laughs> Is the milkman and your dad? <laughs> oh. All right, that's no, no, I'm just pushing. But uh, yeah, I seen this. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta do this. This right on my alley. So we're gonna check this out. If there's more of these you want me to check out, please let me know. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe, and let's get into this one. Thank you for joining me as well. JV. The pink hills. But 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 I. Uh, hey yo. Sh Shorty's gait is crazy. The bottom of these shoes is worn in a crazy pattern. One and two, she be wearing them drawers. Jesus. But I don't think that the pink heels go with this outfit. She had on some slippers. You know the slippers. Ah, she's going the same tones, same tones. That pink when it's like away from the top of the top. I see where she was trying to go, but I don't know. I I, I understand you, my brother. I understand you. With the fur on it, I like that. What? what? What's up? My name is Javian, and today I'm picking a date based off of their outfit. What my outfit says about me is that he's ready for whatever, whenever. If we going somewhere relaxed, I could be relaxed. But now if we trying to- He look like Albie Shore could be his daddy. Or like he is the cousin of uh, Lil B. Shore. No, 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 no. What's the, uh, Justin Combs? He look like Justin Combs too. Up. Maybe go to a club, a party, a restaurant. I know how to switch my mode up and then get in that style too. I like a girl with a little bit of fashion. Not with that I'm not the best fashion shirt. designer myself. Okay. One of my pet peeves is if you don't know how to keep a conversation going, you gotta go. I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Bria and I'm from Chattanooga. When I okay, shout out to Chat Town. Socks is terrible. We don't need the weed socks. Come on now. We, we smoke too much to try and be flagging like that. Uh, besides that, that's cool. One in the middle is cool. The best one is the, the far left. That's, that's a solid fit. That's a solid fit. I see my outfit. My outfit is going to say, like, I'm chill and I'm classy, but I like to have fun too. I should win because I, I love fashion. I love meeting people and just like connecting with people on different levels. That's why I feel like I should win because my personality is just so filled with love. Hey, how you doing? My name is Atika. I'm from Brooklyn. She looked like Lady Alicia on Far Right. Best fits the one in the middle. I don't know what we doing on the one on the left. It's just all face. I can't even see your outfit. New York. My style is extremely moody. I definitely dress on how I feel. So if it's raining, I can't rock with that. I'm wearing black. If it's sunny, I'm wearing yellow. I'm just a moody person. The Bachelor should pick my outfit because it matches. It's fly and it's classy. He needs some class in his life. I like the confidence. Respect. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chaz and I am from. Three fire, various looks. We have a contender here. Money's on this person. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chaz and I am from Chicago. My style is super chic. I love modern clothes. I love to accessorize. Oh my God, I love accessories. I love a good purse. I love some dope shoes. The bachelor should pick me because- She's the red outfit with the pink heels. Because I think understated is not stated enough. Sometimes all you need is some nice heels, some jeans, oh, a okay, cute top, okay. and a nice bag. Respect. You don't need to do yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah, you gotta yeah, let yeah, like your that. natural beauty speak for itself. All right, let's get into these outfits, man. Beauty speak for itself. All right, let's get into... Shorty from New York is the outfit on the far right. Uh, Shorty from Chattanooga is the one that's on the left, and the last girl is the red dress. See these outfits, man. I really don't like how it's tucked in because I feel like this alone could be left by a. This is how I know you're not thinking about what the bird looks like, bro. 
if it's tucked in, and then she's fit, like fit as fuck, she's tucking her shit in. What are you thinking? Just cut in the middle. Use your imagination. Itself. It got a little bit of spice to it. It got the glitter in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to just wear a bodysuit out? Like. We don't got no belt. We don't need no belt. I rarely wear belts anyway, so we don't, we don't got no belt. We good. His pants be on the ground. <laughs> For the shoes. Now, I'm not going to lie. I ain't really a big boot fan, but if you know how to pull it off, you, you good. You good. After seeing the first outfit, the first thing that I'm thinking about, this girl like to party. Now, I like to party too. So it, this, just seeing this alone, this speaks high values. I just like to look cute when I go out. Like, it's not about partying. I don't even look at the back. I like how the back's showing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, in a girl, I love when her back is showing. Shorty got back. Back. <laughs> like actual back. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I like this one. I like this one. That's a good start. I like how y'all put this one first. That's a good start. I feel like it was a lot of backhanded compliments. It's time to move on to outfit number two. Oh, I got it wrong. Wow. I, I'm completely honest. I did not see this being her outfit. Not one bit. All right, outfit two. What you got to say? She says she's moody, but she dresses to the occasion as well. She wanted to impress because all those other pictures do not speak to the level of, we'll say, consciousness to fashion that she put into this outfit because I did not put this in there. What? Shout out to you. Hey, boy, what you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> Already, it's giving me that she likes to go on a date. This, this right here, this is not no party outfit. She likes to go on dates. She like love. She, she might. Looking she for love with this just outfit, went, all right? Went your oh, time. Oh, I love it. Wow. That is so nice. Now, one of my favorite colors <laughs> is burgundy, all right? I love some burgundy. That's ruby this if like I ever seen it. This is burgundy velvet, and I like that. And I like how she got the shoulder showing. It gives me grown vibes. You said grown or wrong? Grown. Oh, grown, okay. So I was like, we going to wrong? Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> the only thing wrong with this is the long sleeves with the long dress. If it was like a tank top, that would have been better. That would have that maybe boosted it up a point. Because he's trying to see that back, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see the little slit in the skirt. That right there just gave the point back. <laughs> oh, we. She got a little bit of thigh, a little bit of leg showing. Oh, yeah, she know how to step. That's a game changer. Oh, uh, I love she, he said the long sleeve. He is no, speechless. <laughs> Can't forget about the shoes. It's the most important part to an outfit. If your shoes ain't right, your outfit is terrible. But I don't think that the pink heels go. The motherfuckers gotta be so comfortable because the bottom of the motherfuckers is worn. God damn. With this outfit. It's not pink. <laughs> it's clear. Maybe she had on some slippers. You know the slippers with the fur on it? I like that. What? what? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he said slippers with the, some Uggs? That does deduct some points. But I like the outfit. It's very calm, very classy. It's giving me romance. It's giving me love. And I'm looking for some love too. So I like that. That was outfit number two. Now let's go check out outfit number three. Okay, it, 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 it wears better way than outfit number three. Fucking, now the that should look like a fucking jacket right there. I didn't. That should look terrible. First thing that I noticed, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This one got a bag, so this one got a little bit of accessories. Let me show y'all. And the bag got some weight to it. Okay, protect black women. All right. You bought All one right. of those? And she got books and saucy some books. Okay. okay. I seen that around. I, I like that. I like that. You know, I use my brain. You know what I'm saying? Very understated. And then it got a message on it, too. Come on now. Come on now. That means she faithful. I never cheated on nobody, so I guess he kind of right there. Now, her nigga in the, in the comment section like, nah, she cheated on me. <laughs> with the top, we going to start with the chains. Like I said, it's a little bit more than the other two outfits, but it's not that much still. So I don't mind that. I like that. I'm really not feeling the top because of the strings and that it. You gotta see it on, bro. I, I felt the same way. You're making a poor decision because of the mannequin. See through. Now if we walk in and we go into a dinner, everybody gonna see your goodness. I can't have that. She's ready for anything freaky at any moment. You see how this zips down? Look at that. It, it's all showing. One zip. I zipped it one time. <laughs> Oh, I'm not, yo. The jeans. Love me some jeans. I got jeans on right now. All right. Now with the shoes, we got the boots again. But not these, with the fur. These are the stripper boots. <laughs> <laughs> not the boots. 
I know. I mean, ain't been to the club. That nigga telling on himself. <laughs> wrong with a little boo. I love boo. Ain't nothing wrong with a little boo. <laughs> if I know one thing about strippers, I know that they freaky. All right. I mean, that's pretty pretty obvious. But I know you that don't they know freaky. nothing about it. She freaky stripper. because she got the anklet. Now I can't forget the anklet. What? She lifting the pants up at any moment. First off, let me tell you something. Oh, <laughs> if I'm a freak. Then I'm a freak for my man, so okay. if I got on sheer, then you should be happy about that, first of all. Second of all, who don't like that girl? It's some boots. Period. It's sexy. They sleek. They patent leather, baby. Outfit number one. Although she has the boots, she had the boots to go with the black pants and the green top. The party girl outfit, I'm going to have to get. I think he go with red dress. The outfit, maybe. I'll give it a six. Point nine. That's interesting. <laughs> Not 6.9, he could just say 7. <laughs> Outfit number two, we got the dinner vibe, the lover girl. She had the nice red velvet, top and bottom, the matching set. Not too much with the jewelry. I see she got a ring on the top. I like that too. It's not too much, not too little. What I did like... I think the ring on the top is supposed to signify because her, her septum is pierced, right? If I remember from the pictures correct. Like about this outfit was the shoes, so that did deduct a little bit of points. Not a so little bit of points. I will go ahead and give this outfit an eight out of ten because I like that slit and I like the shoulders. Okay, sis. An eight is solid. <laughs> that is. She's showing skin, baby. She's showing up skin in the right part. This is why I be like you niggas is dumb. That's okay, but sheer's not okay. You niggas just be having the most arbitrary reasons. Shit's stupid. Oh, in the right part. Oh, right <laughs> I got part. that back out. <laughs> Outfit number three, <laughs> the freaky one. I'm really not a big fan of the see-through top with the zipper right down the middle, leading into the pocket. No, I ain't really a big fan of that. This nigga gonna take you to church on Sunday. I swear to God. <laughs> but I did like the jeans. It's a little bit of simple. I gotta get this one a 6.5. Give him a 6.5. All right. Uh, solid 7.5 for the first outfit. He was correct with the red dress. That's an 8. And then I'm going to say this is a 7.5 outfit as well. Oh, what outfit? I'm shocked. Like, you know, I knew I had a fly outfit on, but I can tell he has good taste. So that's good. I feel like I was the most clothed out of all of the girls there. It was very understated. So for him to call me a freak was kind of wild. Would y'all agree? Because he don't got no experience. You see that nigga's button up that he wearing open? He thought that texture or pattern of fucking flannel was okay. Terrible. I'm chilling. <laughs> it's all good. Um, I hope you enjoy your day. All right, we just rated the outfits. Now, I don't know how to really feel, but I got to see them in person. So let's meet. I feel like that nigga can clean my yard. These girls. Toss bricks. Do roofs. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Now you know what? But, <laughs> I'm so mad at you. Um, exactly. That's why I said, bro, you don't know. This shit don't even look how you thought it looked. I'm mad that you sitting right here because you look good. Thank you look you. good. See? And that wasn't an inklet. That was a bracelet. It was a bracelet. So why they had it by your boots? I don't know. No. Would you still call me a friend? Mannequin don't got no goddamn arms, bro. Bracelet. So why they had it by your boots? I don't know. No. Would you still call me a freak? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna still say you're free. It's not even that <laughs> see through in person. Nice okay. meeting you. It's nice meeting you, for sure. Have fun. All right, I will. Well, hello, Miss Number Two. Well, hello. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I'm wrong about <laughs> all of these now. And you pulling it off. Thank you. And I'm sitting off. down, too. Yeah. Yeah, I like the boots. See, Thank those you. ain't stripper boots. The other one has stripper boots. You got them classy boots. It's right, it's nice to meet you, okay, nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. We might have, to, might have to rethink about this date now. We just met the last two contestants, contestant number three and number two, and they both weren't as bad as I thought while they were sitting on the racks. They came better in person. So now, I didn't put this next contestant, number one, for no reason. So I'm hoping that she come with the heat and that she put it together good. So I'm ready to meet her. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, step in. 
I like it. I like it. And that's exactly what I meant with the with the uh, slit in the dress. Cause she pulling it off towards not too low, but it's not too high. So I see a little bit of thigh, a little bit of leg. You ready to go on this date? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on, honey. Hey, what's up? It's Javian giving y'all a quick update. Hey, it's Atika and I got the date, holiday, I got the date. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor. <laughs> no, she didn't. Ah. If you if y'all know the reference, because most people that are watching are from the UK most likely. Uh there's a movie called Holiday Hearts and uh there's a lady named Alfre Woodard and she plays a fucking a crackhead and I think like a prostitute in that movie. And in that movie Ving Ramis is playing a I'm just gonna say he plays a man that presents as a woman because I don't actually know the term. So that's what we're gonna say for that guy. So uh she gets a date and then comes back, but she's like uh strung out. She's like, I got the date holiday, I got the <laughs> And she's very sociable, so I like that. He is really funny and down to earth. I had a good time um just kicking it and drinking smoothies. It was a great day. But I will not be going on another date with her, although she could be my friend. She's really cool. He might be a little too young for me, and I just feel like he's a homie. I feel I felt the homie vibes heavy, but Nothing against him, had a good time. All right, all right. So yeah, that's gonna be that for this one. I'm gonna do one more of these. If you guys want me to do any more, I for sure will. But uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, please hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.